Hi guys, well in the spotlight today is the Power Color Red Devil RX480. So I know many of you guys who prefer the red team uh, for the mid-range have been waiting for the custom designs and this one here is a very interesting one. The Devil series of course has been with us for many generations of AMD cards and it really represents Power Color's you know, finest efforts boasting a premium custom design and factory overclocks. Red Devil is equipped with a triple fan configuration which should undoubtedly improve on both the noise and the thermals of the AMD reference design. Red Devil also arrives with a modification to the GPU clock, possibly helping to compete with the GTX 1060. Okay, so in terms of the pricing for this card, you guys can pick it up for £250 in the UK, $270 in the US. So this price is very competitive and should this card offer significant performance increases over the reference 480, then this could really change things for quite a lot of people out there in the market for a mid-range card. So stick with us guys as we check out this new card in plenty of detail, you know, having a look at all the features and then doing some gaming benchmarks at the end. Okay, starting with the unboxing experience then guys, this is the packaging that our Red Devil arrives in. As you can see, it is quite minimalist really, there isn't a lot to say, there is the standards down at the bottom, and of course this is the 8GB model, uh, the 480 comes in 4GB or 8GB, so we get the larger of those variants. Over on the back, we have a breakdown of the features, including the cooler, uh, the rear I.O. and all the other features, the technical spec. We're going to have a look at all of this good stuff throughout our video. And inside we get this large cardboard box, and opening this out, first of all we have the graphics card tucked away in an anti-static bag. Just moving that out of the way. We have the accessories bundle, now this only consists of a few items. Uh, first of all we've got that driver CD, would have liked to have seen USB instead of the driver CD there. Um, obviously DVD CD is now being superseded uh, and, and phased out of computer cases. And obviously, with the latest version, that is going to be on the website anyway. We have the uh, membership there to Devil Club, and that gives you the access to support, so you can contact them over live chat. That is a really handy thing to have. Uh, so if you want exclusive access to uh, things like your software, your BIOS, and competitions, then that gives you that membership there. And the last thing is the quick installation guide. So if it's your first time installing a graphics card, then you can refer to that. Okay, and here is Red Devil. Now for a mid-range card, this unit is rather substantial in its size, as you can clearly see. And that is partly down to the cooler which PowerCool have opted for, and later on in the video we're going to detach that cooler from the card and have a look at it in plenty of detail and do a temperature check. So wrapped around that card we have a metal shroud which uh, has a triple fan arrangement and some rather aggressive styling. The only thing I'm not too sure about is that choice of font, uh, which kind of cheapens the typography. Now unlike other vendors out there, PowerColor has decided to avoid using any RGB lighting, which is quite a nice change for once. So this card is significantly bigger than AMD's reference design, and you can see there the difference side by side. So let's do a quick measurement now, as this will help you to confirm whether or not this card will fit inside your chassis. So for the length, Red Devil is 300mm, for the width you're looking at 100mm, and then the height is 42 millimeters. So this card is quite thin, but then it stretches out to a considerable length. Now, one thing to be aware of is that backplate does extend beyond the PCB, and this did cause a conflict with the memory slots on our X99 board, as you can see. So obviously the motherboard design is partly to blame for this, but it's just something to bear in mind. Being a custom design, our Red Devil here arrives with a factory overclock. Now there are two modes available with Red Devil. There is Silent and Ultra OC. These modes can be chosen using this small switch. So with Silent we get a base clock of 1120 and that boosts up to 1276 MHz. And with Ultra OC we get a clock which boosts up to 1330 MHz. And the memory clock operates at 2000 MHz with a bandwidth of 8 gigabit. So with the silent mode, this card will run in an efficient state, uh, using less power and less noise. And then with the Ultra OC, we get a higher power limit, which unlocks that higher clock speed, adding in some extra voltage to achieve this. Another thing to note is that this card does come with 8GB of GDDR5, it is PCI Express 3.0 compliant, DirectX 12 ready, and supports OpenGL 4.5. 
So a Red Devil will occupy two spaces on your board and case, which is quite a common thing. And on this back panel here, we have a quite a nice selection of different ports to use. So we have one Dual Link DVI, giving you up to 3K, triple DisplayPort 1.4s, and those can give you up to 8K at 60 Hertz. And we also have one HDMI 2.0, and that offers 4K at 60 Hertz. So either the HDMI or the DisplayPort are the best ones there to go with. DisplayPort obviously offering you the greater expandability. Now AMD's reference design requires a 500 watt power supply and it arrives with a single 6 pin connection and with the Red Devil the same spec power supply is required so we're talking 500 watts but this does need an 8 pin connection for the power delivery and that gives us the extra juice there for applying the overclocks. Now over on the reverse of the car we have a large metal back plate which protects the PCB there from getting scratched or from flexing and PowerCool has marked out a pattern of circles which provides ventilation for the heat for those internal components. Right guys, well we've taken the cooler off the Red Devil and this is what we're presented with. So first of all we have that trio of double blade free cooling fans. These fans are 80 millimeters, and you can see there the blades are hollowed out and these fans use a double ball bearing for even greater longevity. Now these fans will cease from spinning when the system is idle so that will keep the noise there to a minimum. And those fans sit on top of this gigantic heatsink which has been designed to make use of four copper heat pipes. Two of those are 6mm thick and the other two are 8mm thick. And you can see there we also have this copper base plate which has direct contact with the GPU. So with that heatsink removed from the card we can also take a good look at the PCB. So this board is bigger than the reference design and PowerCool has applied a 6 plus 1 phase power design. And these phases arrive with the extra wattage, 25 watt instead of the usual 22.5. And these we're told will allow you to squeeze out even greater overclocks. So at the heart of Red Devil is AMD's Ellesmere which is based on the Polaris architecture using the 14 nanometer process. And as we said earlier, PowerCool has applied quite a moderate overclock, but it should offer us a slight bump in performance. And next we're going to do some quick benchmarks with our Red Devil, and we're going to put it up against the reference card to see what differences there are. So we'll put Red Devil into the Ultra OC mode, and for the games we're going to be using Dirt Rally, The Witcher 3, Hitman, Thief, Star Wars Battlefront and Doom. And for each of these games we're going to be going for 1080p for the resolution, and we'll use Ultra for the detail preset. Now for other benchmarks and resolutions, please head over to the full review which is going to be in the description. And while we check out these games guys, we're also going to have GPU-Z running in the background to pick up on the max GPU temperature and we'll see how effective that cooler really is. So we'll jump out of our last game for that, that's Doom, and we'll also have a listen to those cooling fans under load. Okay, so let's begin.
Okay, and let's get a reading of the noise levels while we're in Doom. And if we just come out of Doom, we can have a look at the peak temperature. So there you can see we hit 77, which isn't a huge step away really from the reference design, which peaks out in the 80s. And let's talk more about that in a moment. Okay, well that completes our look at the Red Devil RX 480. Now I know many of you guys have been waiting for this video, so I hope you did find it useful. Uh, the great thing about this card is that, you know, just for a little bit extra over that AMD reference design, you can have yourself a faster and a much quieter card. Uh, the AMD reference design is, as previous generations, it is loud and quite inefficient. And this is really where the Red Devil shines. Uh, the temperature drop with the Red Devil against that reference design isn't particularly dramatic, uh, but uh, you know, PowerCore's intention really is to have one of the quietest solutions on the market, and uh, you know, so that low noise is the key objective. The only problem that you might find with this card is if you've got a fairly compact mid-tower, then this card might struggle to fit as it is 300 millimeters in length, but most cases should find uh, you know, enough space and allocation. But in terms of the performance, uh, Red Devil does offer you that boost over the reference 480 and that means that this card is in a better position really to take on the GTX 1060. Plus we of course have that additional headroom uh, to play with those GPU and the memory clock speeds to increase uh, things even further and therefore improve on that frame rate. Be sure to check out our full review actually guys over on Vortex.net as we are going to apply a manual overclock to this card and see how far we can push it. Now there are a few niggles as we did find out uh, earlier in the video that extended black plate uh, does cause a bit of a conflict with the PCI Express. Uh, if you've got a, an X16 at the top which is close to the memory then you need to bear that in mind. The other thing is I'm not sure if you picked up but the logo on this card is upside down. It should be facing the other way around so that when you have got it installed you're obviously able to read it. PowerColor are yet to get back to us on this so we will update the video soon. Now if you guys do buy this card, be sure to check your BIOS version as earlier editions did have a power limit issue and a fan and a clock speed uh, configuration adjustment. Um, be sure to uh, check out the latest, uh, you can obtain that on the uh, Devil Club as we mentioned earlier. The membership gives you all of the access to that and you've also got the, uh, the live chat with the support team. So guys, thanks for watching today, hope you did enjoy it. Uh, please check out the full review which is going to be on the screen in the description very soon for even more benchmark analysis and that overclock result. Hit that like button, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos. Take care guys and I'll see you next time.